Hi everyone, my name is Candace Vandell. I live in Los Angeles, California. So I wanna go through some of these questions that I was given for this documentary and be as brief but as thorough as possible. What I do is I've been a model and actress for 15 years, so about half my life. And um, now I work as a spiritual psychology coach. So I coach young women, young people, mostly young women, about how to live from the inside out, about how to find your true self from within rather than these messages we receive from outside ourselves and from societal ideals. So it's kind of perfect that I get to be part of this. I'm so grateful. So to start, let's see some of these questions. Do you like being a model? Well, I started when I was 15 years old and my first job was in Japan. And then I started traveling internationally for years. And now that I'm older, I have to be honest, I, um, I like it a lot more because what I feel one of the issues with young women when they start in this industry really young is you're usually a teenager, you're adolescents like I was, and we don't have a secure sense of self at that age. We're actually looking for our identity outside of our parents, outside of our family. So we look to society, we look to these perfectionistic beauty ideals, we look towards friends and opinions. And we're not really taught how to find validation from within, which is what I do with young people, is teach them tools to facilitate their own inner guidance, their own inner voice and wisdom and sense of self-love. So what we start doing is we start looking for validation, we start looking for how we fit in, how we measure up, and all these things come about. And I think the modeling industry that I'm in is one of the toughest places to actually maintain your own sense of real rather than honoring an, a perfectionistic ideal. That was a lot of my struggle in my career was really honoring what was true for me. And a lot of times when you're an adolescent, your body's not done growing yet, so you don't really know what's true for you yet. So you go towards these ideals and measure yourself up against them. So one of the big challenges for me, which is why I love teaching it now, because I feel myself I've mastered it, is really living your own truth, true self for your health. That's my tagline on my website, because when you really start honoring what's authentically real for you, what your body wants to eat, what your body wants to do, the size your body wants to be, your life aligns for you rather than you trying to be something else, trying to basically creating self-loathing instead of self-loving loving because you're seeing that this ideal isn't what you are. So one of these questions that I loved was why the beauty ideal is the size that it is. Why do you have to be tall, skinny? Why do you have to be this? The simple answer is because your sample size that designers make their clothes happens to be a certain size because the mannequins are that size and they see that clothes hang well on that size. So when you're walking down the runway and you're really tall and thin, your clothes are going to look amazing. Now, yeah, it's easy for us to change that ideal, or you would think it would be easy. Why don't you just change the patterns? Well, that would take a lot of work. So unfortunately, right now, the sample size is very specific. So that's the why the models are the size that they are and why clothes are portrayed in that way, because that's how they were made. That's the simple answer. So let's get into more of these. Um, do you know any models with eating disorders? Absolutely. And the really unfortunate part about that is when I was younger and traveling to all these countries and meeting these amazing women from all over the world, you wouldn't know which one had it and which one didn't because everyone kept it very secret. They didn't want you to know that their ideal image wasn't really real for them. They didn't want you to know that they had this thing they were suffering from so, because then it meant they weren't this naturally. So it was this vicious cycle of secrets. So I've known many women in my life who have suffered from eating disorders, and I now coach many women as well. And what I find to be a major theme in eating disorders is truly not loving you. You're truly looking outside of yourself for this validation. So it's very obvious why many models suffer from this. And also, trying to stay thinner than your body naturally wants to be is a real battle. Um, do you have to follow a diet? No. Um, I was never told what to eat or how to eat. I think that's also part of the problem where you have to be this perfect size, but no one tells you how to do it healthy. 
now I'm becoming part of different blogs and things that actually share wellness for models specifically because there's a lot of young models now that are interested in doing it right. So no, I was never given a specific diet other than just tone up or whatever they tell you. Um, do you think you've ever been photoshopped? I'm sure, absolutely. I know I haven't been photoshopped to be smaller or anything like that, but I've seen pictures of myself where my face looks a little weird because they've done something. They probably tweaked my nose or my lips or something. So I don't think any model has ever not had Photoshop done to her. Okay. Have you ever been told you don't look good enough? Yes. Um, there's been a couple times in my career where I've actually been sent home from jobs because the client decided I didn't look the way they thought I should look or I wasn't good enough for what they were trying to portray. That's really tough when you're young. When you get older, not as bad because you already have that sense of self and so you realize it doesn't really matter. But when you're young and you get told you're not good enough, you're not pretty enough or whatever, it can be devastating. Um, are you required to be a certain weight? No. I mean, you hear about what the ideal is for your height as a model, and I think that affects you when you're young. It definitely affected me when I started working. I remember looking in a magazine and, and looking at this particular supermodel who I really loved, and I thought, wow, she's this height and this weight? That means at my height, I should be this. And to be honest, that's what started me in my own spiral of not honoring myself. And it went on for a few months, and then I realized this is not working for me, I'm not feeling healthy, I'm not feeling good. So it was very easy for me to bounce back, but for most people, a lot of people, I shouldn't say most, but for a lot of young women, it is not easy for them to bounce back and be true to who they are. So weight is a very bad measure of how you should be. Um, do you believe being a model is a healthy job? Would you encourage girls to become models? Personally, I would encourage you to be a model if it's in your heart and if you have a very stable environment and extremely supportive parents, have a great agent, and someone who's going to really support healthy choices for you. I think there's definitely ways of doing it healthy. I do a lot of fitness stuff. I do a lot of stuff for Shape Magazine, Fitness Magazine, Health Magazine. All these things that actually inspire health because I live that. But I think there's also a whole other side of the business that isn't that interested in health. They're more interested in fashion. So you have to be very careful. I think overall, it's what you make of it. So how you relate to it is a big part of the business. Um, do you think the media has an impact on the way girls these days should look? If yes or no, why? I do. I think it encourages beauty. I think there's encouragement for thinness. I think there is all of these messages. I don't know how to change it. I try to change it one soul at a time, one girl at a time, by blogging about it, by sharing as much as I can over media and social media. Um, but yeah, I think there's a huge issue right now with women thinking that thin makes them better or prettier. I really do. I don't think it's about the modeling industry. I think it's about the media. I think there's a huge misconception in this message. Um, how could you encourage girls to like their bodies and their looks? And what is being healthy for you? I always say true self for your health. I think to encourage girls to love their body is to love what you are authentically and naturally. Eat, be healthy, exercise, do a balanced lifestyle. Instead of looking at messages outside of yourself and comparing yourself, compare yourself to how you feel. Compare yourself to a self-loving sort of message for yourself. Is this what I feel I want to do? That it's good for me. Is this feel good? That it's good for me. If it's not feeling good and it's a negative message, the answer is no. You shouldn't love anything that's not good for you. Um, what is the message that you think the fashion industry or the cosmetic commercials are trying to send out to teenage girls when they show their products on skinny tall models? I really just feel like they think being happy is being thin or being beautiful. And I think it can be empowering, but it has to be seen the right way. It has to be seen as beauty from within rather than without. And I think, or from without. And I think moving forward, a lot of models that I know, we're all trying to move towards self-empowerment, which is, it's not really about the image. I know what they're trying to portray, but I think it gets taken as the image a lot of time. People see it as that. And I think the real message is, 
to feel beautiful and feel empowered. So we have to find new ways to put that message out there rather than this one image and this one ideal most of the time. Um, so basically, self-esteem, in a nutshell, for me, my message and what I feel young women need to hear is that you are perfect for your purpose. You were born as you are for a reason. And to really understand that, I teach meditation, I teach real self-love, because to really know that what I am is more important than the messages I'm hearing from media, from the perfectionistic ideals in the world, and from the opinions of many others who haven't maybe owned their own truth, the truth is you really just need to be true to yourself. And beauty and health is really from within. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm so excited for your message. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.